At six, H&N investigates the beef over beef that led Safeway stores to break ties with Hawaii's iconic Parker Ranch. That's after a huge investment by an Idaho billionaire. Tonight, our Daryl Huff has the first of two in-depth reports from the Big Island. When Frank Vandersloot bought this processing plant and another one on Oahu, he was hailed as a potential savior of the meat industry in Hawaii. But his business practices have caused conflict between major players in the industry, including Parker Ranch. Before that local grass-fed steak can get here, it has to start here on a grassy pasture, most likely on the Big Island, where 70% of Hawaii's cattle are raised, and most of that from the massive Parker Ranch. We're not going anywhere, right? We've been here since 1847. You're Parker Ranch. We're gonna be here forever. But one Parker Ranch product won't be here forever. It's premium beef brand Paniolo Cattle Company, which Parker invested years and millions to develop and market, will no longer be on the shelves of Safeway stores after July 5th. I'm not like unhappy that Paniolo is going away. I mean, we're very proud of it, but if somebody else think they can do it better and that's gonna result in investment, that's a good thing. When Parker Ranch CEO Dutch Kuiper talks about somebody else, he means Frank Vandersloot, the founder of the Melaleuca Home Products Empire, who has invested $27 million to control and expand Hawaii's two biggest meat processing slaughterhouses, essentially controlling local meat supplies to Hawaii's grocery store. It's certainly not a financially profitable endeavor for me or for our operation, but at this stage of my life, I need to be doing good stuff uh, for other people, so that's why we're doing it. After taking control of the Big Island beef plant in Pauilo three years ago, Vandersloot pledged to keep existing relationships with Parker and other ranchers, but he also wanted to increase the number of cattle ranchers who had access to processing so he could get more cattle to process into store quality product. We've kept those promises. We said we were gonna build it, and now we've built it. We're not done, but the industry has been very, very positively responsive to what we've done. Vandersloot buys cattle for his brand, Kama'ina Ranches. He says his goal is to get more ranchers to stop sending their calves to the mainland feedlots to make the slaughterhouse profitable eventually. The secret sauce is volume, getting enough beef through the plant to pay for all the labor, the electricity. In recent years, way over 90% of the beef consumed in Hawaii was imported from the mainland. Ironically, much of that beef started out as Hawaii-raised calves that were shipped to mainland feedlots. Zanga Shuddy of Zibar Ranch in Waimea was among those who were shipping out his calves until he started doing business with Vandersloot. We are blessed to have Frank here. And the reason I say that it is open up a market for us as a producer. Shudi says the prices Vandersloot offers ranchers for cattle are fair, but Michelle Galinda, owner of the 9,000 acre Kuahivi Ranch in Kau, says Vandersloot cut her payments for cattle by 20%. It really is a disappointment and painful. You know, you feel like you're not valued. Galinda is a county council member and advocate for local agriculture. She has arrangements to provide high quality beef to foodland stores, but said higher prices on the mainland are tempting. I can make more money sending to the mainland all day long right now. Vandersloot says he's offering the same prices to all ranchers, what he calls an even playing field for both big and small. It's a commodity market. There's plenty of room for everyone. Parker Ranch's CEO says Vandersloot raised what he charges Parker to process Parker's meat for Safeway, which made his bid for Safeway less competitive. We were prepared from day one that Paniolo Cattle Company could end up being the, the sort of proverbial sacrificial lamb if it meant somebody was going to come into Hawaii and put capital to work in meatpacking. So I'm not angry about this. After Parker's Paniolo deal fell through, Vandersloot won a bid to put its brand, Kama'ina Ranches, on Safeway's shelves. Now the good news is that instead of just one ranch being on uh, the shelves of Safeway, there are going to be over 170 different ranches on the shelves at Safeway. In the meantime, is Parker Ranch okay? We're great. We're in fine condition. Parker has other customers for its beef and an offer from Vandersloot to pay what he calls premium prices for Parker's high-grade cattle, which would likely end up back in Safeway under another name. Despite the growing pains, there are very high hopes for the grass-fed beef industry in Hawaii. In fact, some people believe we could be self-sufficient one day for beef. I'll have more on that in our next report. 
Reporting from Waimea on the Big Island, Daryl Huff, Hawaii.